All right, guys, I'm going to share with you a quick game that I played this morning in five minute blitz. So, waking up on the old iPad, and uh, interesting game for a couple of reasons. It's just a really, really attacking game. Now, it's not perfect by any means, but it's fun. So, enjoy. So, my opponent starts with well, apparently the Nimzovich Larsen attack. So, this is a, basically a Queen's Bishop Fianchetto idea. And I develop normally. So e5, defend it with a knight. He now opens in the middle, and I'm starting to think, oh, here we go. This is one of those, you know, named after a, an animal where your opponent just does nothing for a while. And um, so I've got two pawns in the center, two knights on their natural squares. Bishop out here, I think is kind of okay. It, it pins this pawn. And maybe his next move would have been another mirror image, so I thought, why not? Now his knight comes out sideways, I pin that knight as well. So I'm definitely starting to take a front foot approach um, in regard to, in, or in response to this very kind of closed up, very conservative um, opening. Um, and, uh, you know, bringing my bishops out to the fifth rank rather than the, the fourth is, is quite aggressive. But I need to be careful as well not to overextend and to leave myself open to some sneaky attack, which ha has happened in these kinds of openings before. Okay, so we castle short. I now lift my queen. There's one idea of trading off on here, taking advantage of the uh, weak light squares. He pushes a pawn here. Now, um, we've been having quite a few discussions recently about, about middle game tactics. One of the most important kind of well, middle game strategies, let's say. Uh, one of the most important strategic ideas in chess can be which side to castle. But there is also a third option, which you should always have in mind, which is not to castle at all. And when don't you castle at all? Well, if... I mean, here, for example, I want to attack on the king side, so I might want to be throwing these pawns up. Okay, And at the same time, if my opponent is attacking on the opposite side of the board... It might leave the center or the, the middle of the board as the safest place. And that very, very often, well, not very, very often happens. It sometimes happens. Okay. So here I throw in h5. So I just want to come in and smash the balls out of the way. Hits my bishop. Bishop retreats here. Okay. Um, so now I'm just, I'm just thinking about lining everything up against this. I want to throw everything at my opponent, including the kitchen sink. He pushes another pawn. So at this point already, I'm thinking, I might just stick my king here or something like that, you know. Just connect my rooks, right? You don't have to castle your king. If leaving your king in the center is better than castling, you shouldn't castle. Otherwise, you should castle. There's a, so much of this, you know, it, it's like Morpheus says to Neo when he's training him in Kung Fu. He says, some rules can be brent, bent, others can be broken, right? You don't always have to, you know, cast, don't castle if it's not the right thing. It's generally the right thing. Sometimes it ain't, don't do it. Simple. Now he attacks my knight. Now, this next move is a blunder because I move my knight back here. Um, I should have moved it to this square. Clearly, uh, I don't know why I didn't consider that move because then it can come in here uh, with check. And either it's just straight up in White's face, or he has to trade off his bishop, and then he ends up with a bishop on there, and the king without, you know, any moves. So I move back here, just pointless, pointless move. Um, how long did I think? 1.2 seconds, okay. So neither of us have used 30 seconds yet. Now he brings, starts to bring his knight forward, and actually hangs his queen, right? But dickhead over here, again, 2.6 seconds, completely miss it, and decide to push a pawn. Okay, go figure. And now he realizes his mistake and puts his knight back. And then I realize his mistake and, and go, hang on, I could have taken his queen there. But anyway, so game on, time for the kitchen sink attack. Okay, so line my queen up now with my dark squared bishop. And I'm thinking about obliterating the front of this little wedge here, right? Because Harry's ready to go in, right? And when Harry goes in, this pawn can't move. There's no option to decline. 
So even if white doesn't capture, he could get captured. And then whichever way he takes, I might sack my rook, my bishop. I might go in with my queen and my rook and just try and win. Okay, so he takes there. I take that with a pawn. And, you know, now the, the king's going nowhere, right? But it doesn't matter because I'm, I'm going for the throat here. Now that is a viable approach as long as you don't get sucker punched. As long as your opponent can't just dodge around the back and stick a knife in your kidneys, right? So here he comes with an attack-ish. I ignore, right? Because I think the better part, the better idea here is to go for this attack, right? Sometimes forwards is the best way. Sometimes attacking and ignoring a threat is the best thing to do, okay? Now he moves his rook across. This is actually a blunder also. I just had a very cursory look at the analysis, okay? Um, he shouldn't have done... I think what he should have done here is something like bring his knight forward or or attack in, in the centre anyway. So I take... Harry takes Gary. Freddy takes the new Gary. And uh, now my knight comes in. And I've got one, two, three pieces all looking at this pawn here. He takes out my bishop. I'm unconcerned. Right, everything is going to be flying at white any second. Notice this, this knight is pinned here. My, both my knights are starting to get close to the object ball, the king. He brings out his queen. I don't really think much of that move. And now I start to maneuver my knight round, ready to just, I'm gonna sack something. So I've got both knights now and my queen looking at that. Um, I'm also looking at this knight, right? The king, I for, forget, forget about casting. This is all about the attack, okay? He comes in with his knight. I ignore it again. And I go in for what I wanted to do, grab the g-pawn. Pawn takes. And now, how would you attack here as uh, white? Okay, so my first move is actually to push g5 and get rid of this knight because it's blocking my view of g3 and the knight can't go there 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 or there so or or there so he's gonna have or there so he's gonna have to go back to where he came from right back he goes and now simple right i missed this in a game the other day somebody said in the comments just slide your queen across it's a one thing and this is what i'm working on at the moment working on being more bastard right? Particularly when I'm up, particularly when my opponent's throat is exposed, I have to go in for the killer blow, all right? That's the way it goes. Right, king tries to run away, and next move for white. Sorry, for black. Okay, straight in with the queen. So, pinning this bishop. Also, um, I've got two attackers on here. My bishop is attacking the knight, right? So if I take the knight, king can't take. It has to be the rook, for example. And then queen can take here, because knight's the only defender of that pawn, for example. Um, rook comes across. And what do we do now? We take out the knight, because now the king is the only uh, defender. So king takes, and now hangs the rook. Okay, so weak ending there but and at this point my opponent runs uh just lets the clock run down and abandons the game in fact i think eventually he, he does resign but um interesting example i think that of you know there are games where you you find the initiative and it, and the right thing to do is to go balls out and throw everything at your opponent. If you think you've got a win there, and I was convinced I had a win, right? If we go through again, so I, I was actually thinking as we were playing this game, this could maybe be a punishing dumbass openings game, but it, I mean, it's the opening itself is not so dumb, right? It's just annoying and boring, okay? But at this point, I'm already starting to think, you know, I'm, I'm going for this guy. I, and I think I'm just feel like I'm getting a bit more experience of dealing with this kingside fianchetto idea. I know what to do, and it very often involves my friend Harry, right? And um, he just prompts me here to put my bishop 
where it wants to be, lined up with, with, uh, with his own king. So, so here it's like, you know, I'll, I'll let you do it. You can do that. This is fine. I'm not worried about my king. My king is safe as houses here. And the reason is because he's fianchettoed both bishops. If you look at the pattern of the board, right, his bishops are pointing towards the corner. So where's the safest place? Where's out of line of fire? Where it's still in the middle, right? Queen's never developed. This knight hasn't come out yet. He is underdeveloped. Um, it's almost like he's just trying to, to hide under the table in this game. And when your opponent does that, you shouldn't overextend yourself. But look, my king is safe. It's absolutely fine here. That would have been, again, a far better move. Um, even I had this outpost as well, which would have been really, really nice. Right? But just generally weak moves. Now, like I said, this wasn't a great great example from me, but it's it's a good example, I think, of um, of going for the throat, which is what I'm working on. So there we go. And all finishes. You know, just see how, how quickly my pieces are crowding towards my opponent's king. My king was never bothered, right? He never moved. He never broke a sweat. He was just quite happily sitting there, reading the paper, smoking his pipe, with his feet up for the whole game and let the, the army do do the job, which they did pretty pretty clinically in the end. So there you go. Hope you enjoy that one. You know, so sometimes it's it's the right thing to attack. Balls out, kitchen sink attack, throw everything at your opponent. Sometimes it isn't. You know, the, the, the difference in chess strategy is knowing which is which, right? All good. See you later.